Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update Family Tree Maker 2011 on a Windows 7 machine. So first, let me show you what happens when you start up Family Tree Maker when there's been an update, as there has been recently. Even though my account is set up as an administrator type, Family Tree Maker is going to start up and uh, not automatically detect the update, even though if I go to help on the menu and click updates, check for update, you'll see that you get this message that says you've got to be an administrator. So that's not really talking about what type of account I have, it's how the application is being run. I need to run it as an administrator. So let me show you how to do that. And so you're going to have to keep watch on sites like Genealogy Tools and uh, or Ancestry.com and possibly others to keep track of when there are updates because you're not going to want to run your application in administrator mode all the time just for security reasons. But if you use your start menu as normal, except if you control click on Family Tree Maker, you'll get this little context menu and you can select this second option that says run as administrator. That's one way to do it or you can simply select a control shift while you click on Family Tree Maker and that's the other way to run it as administrator. And You'll get this user account control dialog box that warns you um, are you sure you want to start this uh, with the advanced permissions and so I'm just going to click yes. So that's going to run the Family Tree Maker program in administrator level access. And now it detects that there's an update to Family Tree Maker. And you can click to see what's new. And you can also just leave update now selected and press OK or skip the update or remind me later. Whatever it is that you're interested in doing, I'm going to have a look at what's in this box. And so this tells me what happened and I can just close that when I'm done and then I can click OK. Select what I'm going to update which is just Family Tree Maker and I'm going to click Update. Accept all required downloads for this upgrade. There are other options. You can, you can just download it only. You can schedule the update to happen at a later time or do nothing. Any of, any of those. And then this also gives you some information about what's in this fix. And you can always, if you don't want to be bothered by this in the future, you can select accept all downloads in the future if you choose to. But once you've got it set to accept all downloads required for this upgrade, just click the start button. There we go, now it's finished upgrading. And it's going to start Family Tree Maker. I'm just going to close this dialog box. And I'll actually close Family Tree Maker because I want to make sure that it's not running as an administrator anymore. And I'll just go up and start it normally. And that's it. That's how to upgrade Family Tree Maker 2011 on a Windows 7 box.